hey y'all so today we're going to be looking around a shimmy this land looks super cool so far so i'm really excited to see what they got going on if you're new here welcome it's definitely a vibe on this side i'm shy and second life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of second life and i also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs so if you guys are interested in content like this go ahead and subscribe so y'all the gallery that we were just looking at they actually have um all those art pieces you actually can purchase so i think that is super cool you just click on them and buy them if you want some nice stuff for your house or anywhere you want to put artwork so this land does have like a grunge type feel to it but i really do like it it definitely does give like cyberpunk i'm not in the shared environment the shared environment is set to like actually it's like a little darker than midnight i felt like although it looks super duper cool in their shared environment because it makes um everything pop for me um i definitely felt like we weren't going to be able to see everything that we needed to see in their lighting so i just opted for i think i'm in i want to say sunset i don't know but um this land has lots of really nice neon colors and i really really like that on to the uh, coffee shop okay so they have a lot of off sand stuff so when i first initially got here i thought that the land was like much larger than what it actually is it covers about a sim it looks like but when you pan out it's so many different buildings that are all around it makes it seem like it's like three or four sims but it's not those are all just um off sand places so i think it's really really cute the way that they de uh, decorated everything with the off sim um buildings and stuff like that because it does give the appearance that the land is larger than what it actually is so i saw a post uh, mama aries had actually sent me a post talking about the new black dragon update and the people who were talking about it they were like really excited about the update and they were making it seem like there was like some really cool stuff that was going to be going on with it um as opposed to like what firestorm has with their updates uh really quickly just a little heat advisory you guys hear like wind and stuff like that in the background so i know some people are bothered by that um that's the heat coming on it's it's that time of the year so i went on ahead and i downloaded the um the black dragon update and for me you know i'm really basic when it comes to um these viewers i don't do a lot of the things that a lot of other people probably do on their viewers so for me when i'm looking at it i'm just like oh, okay so what i did notice is that they now have the mirror option they still don't have double click teleport unless i'm just doing something wrong um i've always i've never seen it like when i go into the settings and things like that about the double clicking for, uh, to teleport and that is something that i use quite often um in the firestorm viewers so that was something that i was looking forward to so i was a bit disappointed that they didn't have that and but also they um now that they do have mirrors their mirrors are not crisp not like the firestorm viewers um mirror options so i'm like okay yeah you guys have mirrors but they're not crisp it does look quite pixelated in my opinion and most of my settings in black dragon are either in high or ultra so it's not um coming from a space of like okay well your settings are just not high enough all my settings are either they're they're high so those were the things that i noticed that were different and i was just like yeah i'm not i ain't impressed you know i'm not impressed is it something different yes did they do different things in it yes they did um i know you fucking lying okay um but um, from the post, I just expected it to be a little bit more. The graphics look the same to me. Um, so I didn't really see a difference. Look at them. I love these cats. These are sphinxes. Is that what they're called? I love these cats. Uh, Mama Aries can't stand them. She said they look like rodents. She said they look weird with no hair. But yeah, so... I don't know what I expected, but can I go in here? If it opens up, I'm going to go in here. I don't know what I expected, but 
I just kind of expected more than what I actually came across when I went into the viewer. I was just like, what the hell? Does this open? Okay. I just be clicking on shit. And I, I'm assuming this is not anybody's house because it, listen, you, you put it right here for us to be able to look into. So I'm a look. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Y'all, I I have been like in a funk. When I tell you like a complete funk, it is 3.52 a.m. Yeah, we're, we're doing this again. So I went to sleep at 9 p.m. You know, fingers crossed that I was going to be sleeping through the night. That didn't happen. That just didn't happen. I got up at 1 a.m. Very reluctantly. I tried to like lay there and go back to sleep. That was just something that was not happening. So I was just like, okay, well, let me just get up. So I don't, you know, I do deal with or I have dealt with in the past like bouts of um, depression. I am able to be able to hone in on what's going on better now than ever before so i don't know if this is if that's what's going on um it is time um for my cycle so maybe that's why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling i can't decide if it's the cycle if i need to do my hair it might it might be a combination of all of them so i'm gonna try to do like some troubleshooting because i really don't like feeling like this and i'm definitely not going to want to make um videos in that type of mood because you know i just don't i feel like that's gonna be very fake of me i feel fine right now but um it took a lot for me to even start this video like i literally had to just start recording i had to turn the recorder on and then i was just like okay we're doing this so that's like where i'm at right now it's super cute in here i love all these colors i um came here yesterday because yesterday was the day that i told myself okay you're gonna be doing this video and then i got to the land and i was stuck not stuck like the screen but literally i just couldn't bring myself to move the arrows to do a tour so i just you know i feel like this is something that we can talk about it's something that i do feel comfortable this sushi looks really good talking to y'all about because I feel like, you know, people, a lot of people go through some of the same things. And so I always feel like, okay, well, maybe if I could just talk about what I'm going through, if somebody else is going through it, they'll know that, hey, you're not alone. Even though we know that a lot of people deal with depression, there are definitely different um, levels to it. But for me, I feel like because I'm so um, in tuned with my mood change it makes me feel like that's not what it is a lot of times when i am dealing with the depression i don't realize that i was depressed until i'm not depressed anymore how cute is this so that's why a part of me feels like that's not what it is but at the same time it is a level of um sadness for lack of a better word well really not necessary that's that's what it feels like it feels like sadness but i don't know why and so that's why i feel like okay maybe it's something that's going on with me that i'm really kind of just like not able to figure out right now i don't ne i never try to like self-diagnose i'm using quotes but i never try to like self-diagnose but i am very aware of when my mood changes because i am very aware of how i am on a day-to-day -day basis do they have faces ew barely so that's why i'm able to see that there's definitely been a change in me over this last it hasn't been very long i'm gonna say like a week or so this is like a cute little faux apartment building initially i did feel myself like in a bit of a funk but i wasn't sure like where it was coming from if it was just something that like things haven't been like super fantastic they've been good but you know little hiccups along the way these last couple of weeks and so i do feel like 
um, a part of me felt like, okay, well, maybe that has something to do with it. But then as I sit with myself, I'm like, no, um, I do pretty well with dealing with outside things. It's the inner part. It's me. It's me. Um, I get in my head a lot about a lot of different things. Um, there's the heat, you guys. I get in my head a lot about a lot of different things. And so I do feel like from time to time that becomes like a bigger issue for me and that's just like me staying out of my head basically and that's always easier said than done I always kind of feel like you know are you doing enough could you be doing more what more could you be doing and that kind of puts me in like such a negative headspace and I do it to myself I don't know why but I do just get in those spaces where I feel like okay you should be doing this or you should be doing that or this is not this sunset is beautiful is this sunrise or sunset i think i'm in sun i think i'm in sunrise i'm in one of those and so i really be feeling like you should be doing this or you should be doing that and because i feel like okay you're necessarily you know what so crazy is i don't know if these are um I don't know if they're here taking a picture or if these are like, um, like bots. I kind of feel like they're not bots, but so let me move around. It's so crazy because I'll get in my head about whether or not I feel like I'm doing enough. And then I'll do like some self analyzing and realize, okay, yeah, you know, you're doing okay. I feel like everybody at some point in time in their life, they could be doing more, um, in certain avenues and in certain spaces. But at the end of the day, you have to do what feels good to you and for you. And this is something that I feel like what I am doing, um, as a whole is something that does feel good to me. And it's something that I want to be doing. Um, I understand that in life, you know, there are going to be things that you have to do that you don't necessarily want to do. And I'm very aware of that. But um, the space that I'm in right now, I feel very um, happy in. Otherwise, there are always things that could be better. But um, regarding the totality of it, I do feel like, yeah, it's things are things are cool. So th those are the times or that's when I actually like start analyzing myself to be like okay well why are you feeling this way i've dealt with depression in the past and i don't know if it was postpartum depression because um it didn't happen like i know they said that it can happen at different times um but it was after i had my son but not like right after i had my son i want to say maybe like a year or two after i had my son and i just fell into such a deep despair and I couldn't even explain as to why I felt that way and it lasted three years three long years um I didn't take any pictures I have so many memories that I would have wanted to capture with my son that I wasn't able to because I didn't want to take pictures. I was just in such a deep dark place and I just completely regret it now because those are times where I really could have been able to document our times together. I have lots of pictures with him, but I don't have a lot I don't have lots of pictures of us. And that is something that it it lightweight haunts me because I wanted to have those memories with him but I just simply wasn't in the correct mind space or head space to do those things and so because of that once I came out of that depression um ever since then I'm hyper fixated on how I'm feeling that is something that is extremely important to me so any any time that I feel like I'm not in the type of space that I feel like I should be in or it's like you were very happy yesterday and today you're very sad what's going on why are you sad why are you feeling like this it's like I can catch it but um, many people who deal with depression know that even if it's something where you can kind of like quote unquote catch it doesn't prevent you from still falling into that space necessarily so that's the reason why I'm kind of just troubleshooting it right now trying to figure out um like what is what is it you know what i'm saying um i'm not normally 
sad or feeling like this when it's time for my cycle but um the cycles can be different and from month to month look how cute this cat is from month uh, to month it can be different as far as like how you feel before i know he ain't waiting on another shot i know you lying so it could be that i don't know but i'm gonna do everything that i need to do to kind of check things off on the list to see like what the issue is um hair depression is a thing it really is a thing i've been procrastinating on doing my hair i don't know why and see that's another thing because normally i will um i'll take my hair down and then i'll just do it again i love protective styles because i just i don't want to be messing in my hair every day i like to just kind of do a style set it so that um, my hair can continue to grow and i just don't like to manipulate my hair a lot if i don't have to and so this is about the longest that i've gone without doing my hair and so i don't know if that's like a large part of it but these next couple of days i am going to be doing my hair i'm trying to turn around in here because it wouldn't let me through the door i want to see what's in here um, I'll be doing my hair to just kind of like see what the hell is going on. I don't like feeling this way. I don't like it at all. Um, it's getting close to vlog t a vlogmas and so I am doing vlogmas um, as of right now. You know, I keep going back and forth with it because it's like I don't want to say that I'm going to do it for certain and then um, for whatever reason it doesn't work out that way. I don't want to have to like backtrack. But that, that's the plan. But we're on the 17th and I feel like this is the time where I should be like pre-recording a lot of stuff. Granted, there are not a lot, a whole lot of... Y'all see how all of these buildings, these are all like faux buildings. I love it. I love it. It makes the land look so much larger. Although there are not a lot of lands that... um are like decorated for Christmas as of right now that I've come across. Oh, real a quick disclaimer. When you first come in, when you first come to this land, there's going to be a trifophobia. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You get a little glimpse on the side, my apologies. Trigger, so it it is gonna be behind you. So when you come, just don't, don't turn around. I made that mistake, just don't do it. Um, but I should be, this would be the time that I would normally be pre-recording things and I'm just not in the headspace to do that. And so I'm like, I really need to get my shit together so that I can do vlogmas because that's something that I really, really want to do. We are circling the 600 subscriber block and I am ugh, just completely overjoyed and elated to even be in this space with y'all and to be able to oh, her tattoos are super cute her avatar is really nice to even be in this space with y'all where this is something that we could share and so i feel like with such a um, large milestone for us coming up i just feel like girl get your shit together and be in a better headspace because you have so many more things to be happy about than you do to be sad about so I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going to get me together. I'm going to get me together. But if I come on here um, just having like many chit chats with y'all, just bear with me. I'm trying to talk myself through it. And yeah, I'm going to talk myself through it with y'all.